to show uh, add different animations. Let's run it first and see what it does. Here first on Windows. So we've got our different grids here. We also have a couple of live bindings. I have a live binding that uh, gives me the, uh, the length and inches of the fish in this edit box and also represented here on the uh, progress bar. So you see it's uh, 7 here, it's uh, 90, so this obviously goes between 0 and 100 at the end here. So animations, when I click on the slide button, it's going to um, animate. In this case, what it does is it animates the height of the string grids from what they were before, which is 200. They were 200 high in the, uh, in the designer. We're going to go from 200 to 20 as far as the height and collapse them. It's going to take one second to do so. After one second, we're going to take another second to move the Y position of the string grid. So the first string grid is going to move to the second position. The second is going to move to the third position. The third is going to move to the first position and that's also going to take one second. After two seconds from the start of this code we're going to expand the grids again so we're going to go from 20 where it was to 200 and that's also going to take one second. So the entire animation takes three seconds to perform. These are all loaded onto a thread and they all execute in parallel which is why we have to wait or delay the second set and the third set of animations in order to stack them on the timeline correctly. So again this is what it looks like at runtime we collapse, move, and expand. Alright, we can also do animations at design time. So let's say for instance that I wanted to change the rotation angle here so of course I can set a rotation angle of 45 degrees or whatever now you notice my button is 45 degree angled but what I really want to do is I want to add an animation here here's my animation I'm going to set it to take uh, one second I'm going to enable it I'm going to loop it I'm going to start value of zero and a stop value of 360 and this now should just animate the button over and over and over because it's looped and here we go, here's my spinning button it still works when I click on it alright, let's run this on Macintosh as well here's my Macintosh application working exactly the same as the Windows application